Uh, Paco Akong is the General Secretary of the Progressive People's Party. Good morning. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I hope you are not driving, by the way. If you are, kindly park for us. Yes, I have. I have parked. Awesome. So we're, we're getting an indication that Mr. William Dawapo has dropped out. Is there any particular reason why? Well, um... Paco, can you hear us? A bit of a challenge uh, with technology, of course, as expected. But we'll see if we can reconnect with him. Uh, so he explains to us what exactly is happening within the party and whether it means then that uh, Bridget Jobenu could be the sole contender will automatically become the flag bearer for the party. Paco, okay, welcome back. So you were explaining to us if there was any reason why Mr. William Dorpo dropped out of the presidential race to represent, of course, the PPP. Yes, from, from um, the letter he sent to us, he indicated that uh, due to the time, the limited time we have, he would want to throw his weight behind Madame Bridget Jobbet So I we see. could move on with our campaign. When did you receive this letter? Oh, he made this known to us two days after he filed his nomination. You recall that the deadline for filing was on 21st of August. Mm. And so, 23rd of August, he wrote to, to me, and uh -huh. I made this known to the National Committee, which he, he is a member. And then he was called to um, explain why he had made that decision. And he told us that for the good of the party and for us to have a united front moving into the 2020 election, he would want to withdraw and, and, and throw his weight behind Madame Bridget of so can you then say on record that no one in the party compelled him to step aside to, of course, provide the opportunity for Madame Bridget Jobenuku to represent the party? In fact, at the meeting, he, he was made to clarify his, his position and to also explain whether he was compelled or coerced by anybody to do so. And mm. he, he said that he did that out of his own free will. And he thinks that for the good of the party, and considering the limited time we have, uh, uh, to, to, I mean, to, to campaign in this election, he felt it was necessary and urgent for him to do that. But is it not interesting that he will throw his ambition away, especially because just a month ago when he filed for nominations, this is exactly what he said. He said that, so after months of soul searching, fasting, prayers, and consultations about the future of our country and the necessity of the new Ghana, I've decided to announce that I will contest to become the president of the Republic of Ghana in the 2020 general elections on the ticket of the PPP, which is the Progressive People's Party. I just filed my nomination a while ago. So then... Uh, does this not contrast the fact that now when we're expecting that he will go forward uh, with his idea to represent the party and hopefully become president if he wins, he all of a sudden doesn't want to go ahead with it again? Well, I, I don't think that it's only Mr. Doropo who, uh, who took this decision or who has taken this decision. Mm. Um, when he announced uh, for the filing of the process, we had five people picking four. Mm -hmm. Dr. Francis Ogbeni, lawyer, um, FTAJ, um, Adam Bridget of Brenoku, Mr. Adoko himself, and then one, uh, George Nana mm -hmm. All of these could not complete the process. In fact, uh, Dr. Francis Ogbeni and uh, lawyer, FTAJ, could not complete the process because at the time they picked the form or they told somebody to pick the form for them, mm -hmm. they were still not locked outside the country and so they could not come in to even uh, um, um, register and then and then file and so these also had their own reasons why they could not nana Buedi wanted an extension mm -hmm. of which the party said due to time constraints we couldn't extend the, uh, the 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 date for closing and so mr Dorfos withdrawal i i don't think it's, it's unique of okay. course, he made those decisions based on, on, on what he had, he had envisioned. And okay. considering the, the time and all that, he felt that, well, I mean, for the good of the party and for us to have a united campaign going into the election, let me throw my way behind uh, uh, Bridget. Bridget. Okay. Bridget. So we would have a united uh, uh, campaign into the election. And I think... And a step in the right direction because obviously if we're 
to go into the election. One person was going to emerge victorious. Mm. And so if he felt that we had limited time and we also needed more resources for our campaign and the little he had, they were going to throw that behind mm. I, I think it, it, it's a good step and that we, we commend him for having taken that decision. Could that also be that maybe the party decided to go ahead with probably eventually announcing a woman as a flag bearer because maybe it's the era of women and you think that it also sends a signal to citizens of Ghana that the party is ready uh, to ensure that women also get adequate representation at the table? Well, you, 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 you recall that in 2012, 2016, we presented women as our running mate. Yeah. And, um, but not as flag bearer. Yes, yeah, not as flag bearer. And it has not been part of our decision to present a flag bearer as a woman. For us, whoever the party elected to lead a Senate uh, uh, election was, was, was going to be supported. Okay. So if it has that Madame Bridget Jogbenuku is going to be the sole contender in this race. All the party machinery will be put behind her to make sure that we win this election. We are not going into this election just to be part of it. Okay. Our aim is to win the 2020 election. And we're going to make history, historic history, mm. in, 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 in the first party in, in West Africa, in Africa, Oh, sorry, in, 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 in Africa, probably the second after uh, Johnson Perry mm -hmm. to, to have it, a woman as first uh, okay. president. Mm. I believe that you know, the number of women we have in this country, this should be possible. This okay. should be possible. It Absolutely. Be possible for, for us to have a woman as president. Does it mean, from what you're saying then, that Madame Bridget Jobenuku is confirmed as the flag bearer because now she's the sole contender? Well, yeah, you know, when the decision was taken and Mr. Doofo indicated to us that he, he had reduced from the race, we had to inform Madame Bridget Jogbenuku officially because mm. she is not a member of the National Committee. And so a letter was written to her and then, yes. Okay, we'll see if we can reconnect shortly. We're speaking to the General Secretary of the Progressive People's Party, explaining to us why Mr. William Doakbo, who was one of the contenders, uh, looking forward to represent the party ahead of December 7 as a presidential candidate, dropped out. And that's Pa Ko Akong. And uh, he said that a letter was received from Mr. Doakbo indicating why he's decided uh, to shelve his ambitions and, of course, support Madame Bridget's job in Nuku because he believes more in unity in the party. And so let's see if he can give us that explanation. Sorry, you were speaking. We lost you for a moment. Yes. Um, so uh, can you please help me with what I was saying? Well, so the question was about Madame Bridget job in Nuku and whether she has been confirmed now as a flag bearer since she's a sole contender. And you yes, mentioned so that a letter had been sent to her. Yes, yesterday she replied to us. She offered us an acceptance letter mm. and indicated to us okay. that she was ready and willing to lead a party into the 2020 election. Okay. And so we are back to her and inform her of the arrangement the party has put in place for the outdooring ceremony, which is scheduled to take place on 12 September 2020. Okay, the 12th of September. We'll be looking forward to that. But finally, uh, after it was announced that Dr. Park Indum will not be contesting, uh, you know, to represent the party as the flag bearer, where is he and will he be playing any major role? Okay, it looks as if we've lost Park or uh, con at that point. We're hoping to find out more about Dr. Park and um, you know, what's happening to him at the moment. What do you make of this? It's, it's interesting. I mean, I, I, I am for the woman factor, but yeah. it does appear the PPP through its uh, general secretary, uh, it's dumping it a little bit mm -hmm. and saying that, well, we put forward the, the most competent or whoever uh, yeah. qualifies. And if it's a woman, that's fine. Exactly. So, well, I mean, I, I, I do hope that you will bring a different type of leadership to the party moving forward. Exactly. So that we will, we will, we will have something different. The third force, we're so. still looking for the third force uh, yeah. between NDC and MPP. But yeah. 